She's a 26-year-old mom with a 25-year-old daughter. How is that possible? Tina Gibson's new baby girl started out as a frozen embryo way back in 1992. Tina herself was only a year old at the time. We could have been best friends. And so that's kind of been the joke. You know, we've kind of joked about that. It all started a quarter century ago when an anonymous couple donated an embryo, which was frozen and kept in storage for all those years. Then in March this year, Tina Gibson and her husband Benjamin, who were unable to have children of their own, had the embryo implanted by a fertility specialist. Now, were you both apprehensive about using an embryo that had been frozen for 24 years? I definitely was. Like, it was super scary. I asked all kinds of questions. I was like, I, I mean, what if it doesn't work? You know, it may not work if it's been frozen that long. Little Emma was born over Thanksgiving weekend, weighing a healthy six pounds, eight ounces, and measuring 20 inches. She's perfect all over. <laughs> it's absolutely astounding. I mean, with the new modern vitrification, we suspected that embryos will survive a lifetime. This is actual proof, and seeing that is a pretty cool thing. The infant is believed to be the longest known frozen embryo to result in a oh successful birth. Everybody's asked us here recently what we're going to do for Christmas, and <laughs> we're just going to sit and stare at her is what we told them because... A magical holiday gift, 25 years in the making. Just the fact that she's here and she's ours, miracle for sure.